A Glee star has been arrested for possession of child pornography. The man in question is Mark Salling, uh, who played uh, Puck in the show. And the LAPD's Internet Crimes Against Children unit obtained a search warrant uh, on Tuesday morning for a home in Sunland, California. Officers found hundreds of images on his computer. He paid an ex-girlfriend more than $2.7 million in March after she accused him of knocking her to the ground when she confronted him over an alleged sexual battery. So he's had some issues with the law previously, and now things have gotten really bad because that same girlfriend uh, that he paid off or settled with um, out of court allegedly tipped authorities off to the fact that he enjoyed child pornography. Okay, so... Super happy you got caught on the child porn stuff. Um, now, normally, when a girlfriend or a boyfriend is snooping in on uh, someone else in the relationship, that's super uncool. Uh, this is obviously the most clear exception to that rule. Right. When you find child porn, and you know, and the endangering kids, yeah, I'd go ahead and report that. Well, right? to be fair, I I don't know if she was snooping around and she found it. Who knows? Maybe he left it lying around. That's, that's right. right. We have yeah. no idea how she obtained that evidence or how she tipped cops off, but she's the person who did, and I'm glad that they did the investigation. To give you some more details in uh, the alleged sex crime that uh, he settled out of court for, apparently in 2011, Roxanne Gorzella claimed he forced her to have unprotected sex, and then when she confronted him several days later, he pushed her to the ground, injuring her knees, which is why he's spent $2.7 million to settle it out of court. TMZ reported that an ex-girlfriend tipped off the cops, forcing them to investigate before the raid uh, to check it wasn't for revenge. So, yeah, I, I, that's important part, right? So the cops aren't going in there based on the ex-girlfriend being like, oh, I didn't like the porn he was watching. Right. Cops are like, yeah, yeah, okay, we're gonna need more evidence than that, okay? And then when they find out, no, it's true, and he's got child porn on there, then they do the raid. So this wasn't half-cocked in that sense. It, they, they investigated before they went in. Oh, okay, so uh, now back to the $2.7 million. Like what he did to the girls, to his ex-girlfriend, the other ex-girlfriend is mm -hmm. obviously unacceptable. Mm -hmm. That doesn't need to be said. Get put like the, the and there's the sex part, yeah. yada yada, right? But she mainly got it for the injuries to her knees. Yeah, there was not knee replacement surgery or anything. Mm -hmm. Two point seven million dollars. I I don't care about that amount. Yeah, I, no, I I get it. This so I, I'm not begrudging the money she gets. Mm -hmm. I'm just amazed at the money people make on TV. Yeah, they make a lot of money. Um, they're constantly, because of their fame and their wealth, I think they're constantly surrounded by people that make them feel entitled, that make them feel like they're above the law. Yeah, you're going to probably break some laws and you're going to do things that you're not supposed to do and you're going to think that you'll get away with it. But I'm glad he didn't get away with it and I'm glad they're investigating it and hopefully prosecuting him. He thinks, well, I made all this money, what do I care? You know, I'll do this to this girl. I'll give her $2.7 million, who cares, right? Mm -hmm. And then I'll go and watch child porn and there won't be any consequences because if any, if there are, I'll just pay somebody else $2.7 million and, and off I go. Well, that's not really how it works. No, you kind of get arrested and now you're in a lot of trouble.